Hey, I'm Amy from Creative Kin, and welcome back to the four days of gifts for your Valentines. Today, we're gonna surprise your pets with some snail mail. Here's what you need. Felt, I'm using three different colors. Scissors, embroidery floss, needles, a fabric marker, a chip bag, catnip, batting, an old water bottle, and Velcro. Let's get started. I'm gonna make an envelope for a dog, but if you wanna make one for a cat, follow the same steps, just make it a little smaller. So grab a piece of felt, and we wanna make sure that it's big enough to fit the water bottle in. So I'd grab your water bottle and measure it out. Perfect. And then we're gonna cut it out. Awesome, now that we have the shape of an envelope, I'm gonna take my fabric marker and write on the front, and then we're gonna embroider over that. So since this one is for a dog, I'm gonna write doggy on the front. The fabric marker just allows me to see where I'm gonna embroider later. Now that I have doggy written out, I'm gonna grab my needle and thread and embroider it. Awesome, now that I have doggy stitched, I'm gonna add some squiggle stitches below for an address. Don't forget to add a return address as well. Awesome, now I'm gonna make a stamp. I'm gonna cut out a small white square and a pink heart. And to make the heart, I'm gonna cut out a square the same size as my white square and fold it in half and cut a heart shape. I'm gonna start by stitching my heart onto my stamp backing. I'm just using a few stitches to anchor my heart. And now I'm gonna sew on my stamp. Again, I'm just using a few stitches to anchor it in place. Now that our stamp is attached, we're gonna fold it back into place and whip stitch two edges closed, leaving the third one open. I'm just whip stitching this single layer of felt to keep up the look. Now that I've stitched all the way around my envelope, I'm gonna fill it up. This is where it gets a little bit different. If you're doing a cat one, we're gonna stuff it with some batting, catnip, and a little bit of an old chip bag for some extra crinkle. If you're doing a dog one, we're gonna stuff it with a water bottle and use a little Velcro to secure the side. So I have my cat one here and I'm gonna cut a little batting to fit inside. This is optional, of course, but I like the way it fills out the envelope. Now I'm gonna cut out some chip bag. And to finish this envelope up, we're just gonna whip stitch the edge. Now our cat envelope is finished and it's time to stuff our dog envelope. Grab your water bottle and Velcro. So cut two little strips. Cut off the top part of your water bottle. Place it inside of your envelope. And now we're gonna place in our Velcro tabs. I like to use Velcro tabs because when the water bottle is not crinkly anymore, you can replace it.
And there you have it, snail mail for your pets just in time for Valentine's Day. We want to see a picture of your furry friends with their love letter, so be sure to Instagram a photo and hashtag creativekin. Thanks so much for watching, now go get crafty!